Tonight's game, live from the Silver Dome in Pontiac, Michigan, the New Jersey Generals play the Michigan Panthers. Boyovich to kick off, and that is Lott. Nope, man's going to step in front of him there, and that is going to be Sullivan. And Sullivan brings the ball across the 20. First and 10 from near the 25-yard line. And a man is already shaken up. Oh, Bobby Scott. 32 sacks against Scott this year. 41 against the team, whereas there have been 43 sacks made by the Michigan defense. So that's what Bobby is facing tonight. Scott to throw on first down. Looking downfield, has his man there and caught by McConaughey. Across the 35-yard line near the 39 and first down. Jim, it's surprising. Now, we saw New Jersey last week, and they, the first two possessions they had the ball, they threw both times, and Herschel Walker didn't touch the ball, the first two plays, not the first two possessions. They come right out to New Jersey and throw the ball again. I think maybe they found a little flaw in the defense. 28 yards only on the ground for Herschel last week. And now it is the up man, and that is Carthen. And Carthen gets up five yards from the 39 to the 44. Tackled there by John Corker. And it is second down and five. So a first down on the first play, five yards on this play. This is a replay, and it's also a replay of last week. Carthen gets back, breaks to the outside. And if John Corker doesn't make the tackle, Carthen has some, some room to run to the outside. All at the 44-yard line. Michigan, as you well know, five and five. And Birmingham, which has won four in a row, coming up next week. But first things first, Herschel Walker, who is in motion now in company, are here tonight. And Scott back to throw again. Dumps it out across the way. Crawford holds on and has the first down at midfield. Tackle there again by John Corker, number 57. And again, they've gone three plays, two first downs, and where's Herschel? That's probably what they're figuring, Paul, to key on Herschel. So they're going the other way. Jim, I had an opportunity to talk to Herschel before the game and ask him about this. It bothered him that they key on him. He said, no, it doesn't make any difference to me. I'm used to it from college. The thing about it is when you start keying Herschel Walker, other people become open. And that's exactly where New Jersey is attacking Michigan. Here's Carthen again, and Herschel Walker leading the way with a block. And Carthen gets three or four yards. Give him nearly five down to the 46-yard line. Robert Pennywell, number 59, made the stop, the inside linebacker. Herschel does so many things. He also blocks very well. He's a big man. He's coming to the outside, and the man he's blocking is John Corker, I believe, number 57. Does a job on him. Second down, and let's call it six instead of five as they move the ball back from the 46, but they're taking the ball from their own 23 and now move to the 46. And the up man is Carthen again, and he gets across the 45 to about the 43. And for the first time in this young night, the generals now face a third down situation. Most expensive decoy in professional <laughs> football, <laughs> number 34, Herschel Walker. But that's what they have to do. They, if they start going to Carthen and they start throwing the ball to the outside and stay away from Herschel for a couple of series of downs, then that will open the gates for him. I, I just don't think that uh, Michigan will get impatient. Let us see if they go to Herschel when it's third down and three. He is the man in motion, so if they go to him, it'll be throwing the football. Scott goes across the middle, oh, and that is picked off. Picked off by Robert Pennywell, number 59, who leads the club in interceptions. Make that four for Pennywell, and the drive is stopped with no ball going in the direction or handed to Herschel Walker. I said they didn't get away from Herschel Walker. David Greenwood had Herschel covered, and they're going to try to go to the tight end, Sam Bowers. And if you're going to attack a defense on a third down situation, he usually has one on one coverage or covered by the linebacker. And you're going to see Pennywell just step in front. Good play by the linebacker, anticipated very well. Interception, Michigan ball in the 38. Now, Bobby Abair, John Williams, and Ken Lacey. The backfield. Abair hands off to Lacey. Lacey turns the corner and picks up good yardage. And has fumbled the football. And it belongs to the general, so turnover followed by turnover. Lacey fumbles a football. Let us see who gets up with the football. It looks like Mel Lunsford. We've got 11.45 to go in the first quarter, no score. 46-yard line, no score. Early in the ball game, and here come the generals again. 
And Herschel Walker's got the ball for the first time, and Herschel Walker's got nine or ten yards, depending upon where they spot it. And I think they're going to spot it just a half a yard shy of the first down. David Greenwood comes up to make the tackle. Only a matter of time till Herschel Walker catches the ball. Watch a cutback. He does, and David Greenwood, number 31, is going to make the tackle. Had he not made the tackle, Herschel is gone. You know, he's got about 33 and a third percent of his total of last Monday night <laughs> on that one run. Second down, short yard. Not a half a yard. Herschel again, he's got the half a yard and more. First down inside the 35 yard line. Remember, that this Detroit team, the Michigan Panthers, beat Birmingham and then lost four in a row before they started a winning streak by beating New Jersey. I would give the ball to this man on short yardage, and he does a great job. He's tackled there by Ricky Williamson, number 98, but he still picks up the first down. Make to Herschel Walker, Scott in trouble. Gets the ball up for grabs, and nobody's going to get it. Gee, he didn't get that ball out of bounds. It was toward the sidelines, but what was worse, it was a dying duck high in the air and gave a lot of folks a chance for it. Kyle Borland was the man who was chasing Scott across the field. Kyle Borland had a great game against Arizona. He was in all the time on, on the passer. He's the guy that forced him out of the pocket a couple of times so Corker could get his three sacks in that game. But Borland plays a steady steady linebacker position on the outside. Slauson left and Freedy to the right. Second down 10. Walker breaks one tackle driving his own man downfield driving his own man downfield which enabled the Michigan Panthers to come up and cover him led by Pennywell Borden Corker Paget, name them all but he found his own man in front of him there at the end. Jim, you better tackle Herschel Walker, and you better get your arms around his legs. Now watch Andy Canavino, number 62, is going to come down, and he thinks he has him right there. Misses him. Herschel Walker runs into his own man, and down he goes. Sam Bowers was trying to get out of the way, and he was taken <laughs> downfield. He's the tight end. Third down and nine to go. Watch the blitz. Blitz is on. They pick up one linebacker. Now a flag goes down, and so does Scott. Corker was the man blitzing. Corker was picked up and then finally got Scott. But remember, a flag went down. An offside charged against Michigan. So instead of third and nine, and it would have been fourth and long had the play counted, it'll be third down and four because you know very well they're going to take this penalty. First penalty of the ball game. In a third and four situation, I'd give the ball to Herschel Walker. He's the man that can pick up four yards on his own. There is a good crowd here tonight. And as we told you, this is Dave Kamansky, our referee, for his first call of the night. Defensive team offsides, number 57. Ed Manning is the umpire tonight. Head linesman is Rich Elizabeth. Larry Hill, the line judge. The back judge is Mike Looney. And the field judge is Bill Schmitz. And that is John Corker. 20 and a half sacks. Michigan has had 43. He has had almost half of them. Well, he just had a sack there, and they're going to have to take that one away from him. Third down and four. Ball on the 28. No score. Scott, Herschel's open. Oh, Bowers. Greenwood reached in front of Sam Bowers and knocked it away. And it's fourth down. Jim Herschel Walker was wide open. Nobody covered Herschel coming out of the backfield. And Scott didn't see him, and he went to the tight end, and Greenwood was there and knocked the ball down. Well, Dave Jacobs is out, Paul. He is one for one for over 50 yards, but this would be about 44 yards. And between 40 and 49 yards, Jacobs hasn't hit one all year long. Well, indoors, he has no win. 44-yard field goal attempt after the fumble, after the interception. And that is Mike Freedy holding. Ball is down. Jacobs, pretty good looking kick. And it is so good looking that New Jersey leads 3 0 midway through the first quarter. First down the generals. Here comes Herschel Walker, and there goes Herschel Walker. He 